Hey, David Newman of RX Mark here out here in beautiful Lake Francis, Tennessee at Power Monkey Camp 18 and I am joined by Danielle Brandon and Dallin Pepper from Brute Strength. Super excited to have these guys here at camp this week. Uh, we've been working on a lot of fun stuff, a lot of crossover work as well as all the other stations. I'm sure you guys are getting a ton of like great information, yeah? Oh, yeah. We're, we're a having, a good, having a good week? Yes. Awesome. Okay, well... Uh, we've had some fun already working together uh, at the jump rope station and uh, we're going to just run through those progressions again working crossovers, right? We want to start and keep it simple. Everything's progression based so we'll start with all our single unders but before we even get to that let's just talk about some general crossover positioning that's really key. So obviously let's, let's, let's show what we like our uh, starting position to be which is right outside the hip crease, center of our body, right? When our arms are relaxed and just hanging by our side, we just want to move them right to the middle of our body, handles out to the side, and you're set up. So everything happens right here. Now when we cross, we really want to try and get our bodies out of the way and just replace your handles on the other side and put them in the exact same spot and do a nice big, even a bigger X, go ahead do that again, a nice big X across your, across your belt buckle. If you had a big old country western belt buckle, you'd be pressing right against it. And when you're there, I really like you to think of taking your top arm, pressing it down against your bottom arm to really just keep your arms pinned and controlled. And from there, it's just going to be wrist motion, right? So that crossing motion, getting a little bit hollow, hips out of the way. Dallin, you don't need to really tuck down. You can keep your legs straighter. There we go. And we're going to go feet together, too, so we have a little bit more clearance uh, on the side. So, yeah, that's where we go from open position to cross position. The, the common thing is, is to cross lower than you think you need to because we still want the rope to contact the ground and cross further than you think you need to, right? Reaching down for those hips, yeah? So why don't we um, do a toe catch? How about log well, it out of the way, let you guys square up. How about just show me a toe catch just to an open position? Let's see what that looks like. Bring it around. Nice, and you can step over it. Now let's bring it over when the rope gets out overhead. Let's see if we can do that nice deep cross and catch that. There we go. And you kind of look down. It's good to yeah. look down. Yeah. See, you know, we're just trying to get our arms coordinated. So it's good to stop and kind of examine where you're at. Let's try that again. Those are pretty good though, actually. Good. And the big thing is, is we want to make sure our handles are, are getting out past our shoulders. We've got to clear our shoulders so that we don't, we don't clip our shoulders with the, with the rope. Let's do that one more time. It doesn't have to go fast either. Just get the rope under tension. Nice. So when you feel pretty comfortable there, on the next one, why don't we go ahead and hop through that cross and then open up to a toe catch. Let's see what that looks like. Cross, hop through. Oh, good. So what I noticed a little bit of is more, more knee tuck and less hollowing, right? So let's try and switch those. Less, less knee bend, more hollowing at the hips. Nice toe catch. You forgot. <laughs> <laughs> good. You are human. You're not a machine. You are human. Good. There it is. Nice. Cross. Oh, there we go. I like it. Yeah, so great progression. So when you feel comfortable with that, then as soon as you open, you just hop right over that one. So why don't we, why don't we try and connect like five, cross open, cross open, cross open, or singles. Singles, single unders, yeah. We're still staying in a single under progression. Cross open. Yeah, try to organize your arms. Very nice. You guys should be on the jump rope team together. Forget about this CrossFit stuff. <laughs> you guys are ready. Those look great. So, you know, it's nice just to keep things slow and just really start coordinating and organizing our body parts, right? Like less is more. Less movement is more beneficial, right? To, to really be efficient with this. So, you know, what a lot of people don't realize, I want to have you demonstrate just standing there, DB. Just start making that wrist motion like you're doing forward circles. Now keep doing that and then cross your arms to the other side and keep your hands moving. Keep your hands moving, keep crossing. Reach further so we can see your hands. What people don't realize is now your hands are going backwards, right? So we're not really coordinated and comfortable doing that. So the more time you could spend doing that is uh, it's just going to help you kind of build that, that dexterity and that coordination. So a nice uh, drill to do would be two single unders, just two open single unders, then two cross single unders. Two open single unders, two cross single unders. Let's try those for a rep, like three. Three rounds of each. Single, single, cross, cross. Single, single, cross, cross. Single, single, good. Cross, cross. Very nice. Yeah. 
That's a, that's a great drill just so that you can really start seeing. You're spending more time in that position and little, little things that I'm seeing is you could probably get a little bit more hollow. Mm -hmm. Your arms are just floating away from your body a little bit, right? So whenever you're doing that, you're moving the rope away from mm -hmm. you and, and there's more potential to catch, yeah? So little small things, but you guys made it. That was great. So another fun one, this is just a quick little drill. And I love this one. It's my favorite add-on. One single under, one cross. Two single unders, two cross. Three single unders, three cross. And you just try and work your way up the ladder, right? You just, yep. One and one, two and two, three and three. Why don't, why don't we see if we can both get up to four, get through four. Take a single, there you go. Almost. You made it? You, five? Four. You said four. You made it. All right. That was good. That was really good. Yeah, that can get really addicting, right? Because you yeah. were doing so great, and then when you trip, it's like, oh, I was almost there. Yeah. Dang but it. you can feel how you really get to rehearse that position and get comfortable, right? And, and re reminders, like press your arms into your body so that they're not floating around. Mm -hmm. Those are the big, the big fails we see is uh, people don't reach across and low enough. They also don't get their arms against their body, right? They let it float out, or they'll cross up too high. Yeah, so those are the things to keep in mind. Awesome, well that, that's great. So that gets us started on just really working that cross motion, getting comfortable. Now let's talk about the infamous crossover double unders. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, great topic. So we saw that at the games this year. Super excited uh, to see those. Were, were you excited to see them? I was excited to see that was cool. them and then try to learn them. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. figure it out on the floor Wasn't. if I got there, but now that's yeah. a true athlete. I like that, right? <laughs> that's I like the athlete that says, "I hope I never see something." The athlete that's like, "I'm ready for anything." Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. you had no experience with them. Yeah. Learned them in the back with your coach, mm -hmm. like within an hour. Yeah. And um, actually killed it during the event. Yes. But a lot of people didn't really get to see how great that was because you were you were getting no rep a lot. Yeah. Yeah. For good reps. During <laughs> doing good reps, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You're doing good reps. So, and I was I was watching that and uh, and and I felt so bad for you because I could tell you're doing good reps and I could see you getting frustrated, mm -hmm. and all the screens are on your face. You know, all the cameras are on your face and visibly frustrated and rightfully so. Yeah. And I and I was laughing because I could literally read your lips and you were telling your judge. I'm crossing on the second rotation. Yeah. Like it was so <laughs> obvious, right? And uh, I think a lot of people kind of in the peanut galleries thought you were, you know, weren't making them and you were mad because right. you weren't making them. Right. When you actually won the event. Yeah. Yeah, it was fantastic. So anyway, kudos to you. Thank you. Very impressive. Um, so people need to go back and watch the video yeah. and go, oh, okay. If you count my reps. <laughs> right, right. And I think, you know, in the judges' defense, I mean, judges are human, but when they don't realize what they're looking for and, mm -hmm. and in your situation you were prepping with some single unders and then yeah. going for the double with the cross right. and the cross you were doing was open on the first rotation cross on the second yep. right which is a great one that's a great one to learn with to start with mm -hmm. um, some athletes were doing double under preps right before they would go for the crossing motion mm -hmm. so the fans were a little bit confused because they didn't know what counted and what didn't the judges were obviously confused because mm -hmm. they were no repping you, yeah. right? So, um, yeah, so it helps to kind of like know what you're doing and yeah. maybe, maybe, yeah, next time, I would say if you get in that situation, you would tell your judge, here's what I'm planning on doing. Yeah. Just so you know, right? Kind of walk them through it and then get them, you know, on your side yeah. at the beginning. So anyway, let's talk about those. Three different crossing motions, right, for a double under. So it is a double under, jump in the air, two full rotations. Okay. Now, of those two rotations, you can choose. Cross the first one, open the second. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit harder. You can go open on the first one, cross on the way out, which is what you were doing, yes. right? Or you can cross and stay cross for both, mm -hmm. which is a little bit funkier, yeah. right? Yeah. You either stay there the whole time or you gotta open back up to yeah. a double, right? right? So, so we found out that you guys were allowed to do the either open cross or cross open, yep. right? Could not do the cross cross, those didn't count, mm -hmm. yep. So. Let's talk about those. Let's practice uh, some um, open crosses. And what I, the way I like to start people off with these, I, I don't think I had you guys do them, is do them off the deck. Try it off the deck. Just like a double oh, off the deck. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it just makes you slow things down yeah. and just be real definitive with your movement, right? You're not right. using a lot of momentum into it, right? Yeah. So once you get set up, we're going to play with this. Now, by the way, you're allowed to trip, okay? 
We take all the pressure away. Ugh. Tripping is okay. Tripping is an opportunity to reset, recalibrate, reestablish what you did wrong, right? Yeah. Correct it. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm happy with trips. So we're gonna go feet together to avoid the trips though. So here's how this is gonna go. You guys, we'll start off with just a jump double under, right? So just bring the rope around, jump, just turn a double under, land and catch. Nice. So I would recommend do that again, try and launch a little higher and not feel like you have to turn the rope super fast so you're not rushing. Okay, yeah. You're gonna tie me down. No, that's okay. You made it though. Awesome. So now what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and just take off the same way, right? Open on the first rotation and let's see if we can cross before we land. Right? So it's open cross. What are you guys pros? What are you guys pros? Okay, now if you really want to impress me, I want to see a toe catch at the end. I want to see control, right? So open, cross, land, toe catch. That'll impress me. Okay. Half ah, rep. You forgot to open up. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's see. You guys are almost there. Open cross, toe catch. I'll give you a little hint. If you, when you I'm finish, opening. if you I wouldn't drop your hands when you finish, you literally have to just freeze your hands at your at your mm -hmm. midline. Just freeze right there. Okay. The rope will drop right where it needs to be. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a shot. There we go. You got it. Both got it. <laughs> nice <laughs> job. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. Awesome. Yeah. So pretty simple, right? Yeah. It just helps you kind of slow things down, organize it, and really focus on your movement rather than just like rattling off reps, yeah? That's what we see too many people do. Let's just bang out the reps and not really think about our efficiency and, and good positioning. So, let's talk about connecting these a little, these a little bit more. Uh, what I like to have people do is just, you know, start with maybe two double unders, mm -hmm. then cross, uh, open cross. Then two double unders, open cross, right? So you're just, you know, getting a nice rhythm going before we try and connect a bunch of them. Because mm -hmm. we usually see people's arms start flailing, going crazy, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So let's try that. Why don't we try and do two double unders, Open cross, two double unders, open cross, two double unders, open cross, right? Let's see what that looks like. Oh, all right. I like your tempo though. Nice new tempo. You got it. Nice work. That's all right. That's all right. Those are looking good though. You're getting it. I had, I had the first one. <laughs> yeah, no, the first couple looked great. First couple looked great. Yeah, so when you start getting comfortable, you know, the biggest thing I can say is like if you really focus on just elevating off the ground, giving yourself time. Mm -hmm. Then you can slow the rest of the movement down and be under control. You won't be panicky, mm -hmm. you won't have tension, right? Yeah. That's the main thing. We always say it's like, it's better to go unbroken than try and go fast yeah. for risk versus reward. Mm -hmm. I feel like sense? something else you mentioned was like saying it out loud, like we oh, talked yeah. about that, and I was in that time, so. Yeah. Well, maybe we should try it again yeah. and yeah. see if that cue helps yeah. you. I agree, saying it out loud, open cross. Yeah. Double, double, open cross, right? Yeah. Just get your hands organized, you wanna try it? Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's really I got hollow. Get Dallas, just get a little more hollow if you got that. There we go. Give me yeah. One. You are right on it. I can just tell you're just a little bit more upright. Just yeah. need to get a little more clearance and you're right there. There it is. Okay. Nice work. Nice work. Awesome. Awesome. I like it, guys. I like it. Good work. All right. So why don't we finish and see if we can connect. What do you want to go for? Five? Okay. Just smooth. Not that a big number. Five open crosses. Just open crosses. Yeah, open crosses. So you can start with a double and then go, or you could go right into it. Now you know you can go right off the ground and go open cross right away. Two, it's PR. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> no, I'm super impressed, guys. No, I really am super impressed just because we haven't spent a ton of time at that, right? And just a few little cueing and you guys making like quick adjustments, I can already see you guys cleaning up so much. But the big thing is you look more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I, you don't look frantic and you don't look like <laughs> mind boggled. Like, what's yeah. going on, right? Yeah, so you guys gotta make me a promise. You're gonna keep working those, following those, those drills, but also work your cross opens uh -huh. and also work your cross cross. Learn all three, because what I'd love for you to do is show up at the games next year, because they're probably going to put these in again, right? They've got to prove that everybody can get these, and I want you to walk up to your judge and say, what would you like to see? 
<laughs> but give them your options. Like, what do you want? Yeah, what would you like to see? I've got them all for you right here on the menu, right? Is that a deal? Yeah. That's awesome, guys. So Thank fun working you. with you guys. Thanks Thank for coming you. to camp. Thanks for watching. <laughs>